So today um we are going to be doing a one brand makeup tutorial and I'm gonna be doing the brand Colourpop um Colourpop so yeah I love Colourpop they're affordable they got bomb stuff and everything works um so yeah if you guys are interested in watching this makeup tutorial and see what I do with everything I bought from Colourpop and all the products I bought then keep watching all right so first of all I'm gonna say that um I went ahead and went online and I bought anything that I needed I already have like some Colourpop stuff but there was some there was a lot of things that I was missing like I was missing a blush a uh, um bronzer eyebrow pencil you know there was a lot of little things that i was missing so i went ahead and bought them but there's something i do not own from them is brushes um and i didn't really have the money to buy all of like the brushes so i that would be for like a separate time i guess um and yeah they don't even i'm, not, I'm pretty sure they didn't have all the brushes at the time when i bought them but um I did manage to buy one brush which was this one so the first thing that I'm gonna be starting with is the Colourpop Amber Crystal Setting Spray it's it smells really good damn Colourpop alright so I'm gonna need a little more because my skin is really dry so I need to like drench in it for it to actually work and I'm gonna be going into my beauty blender to you know just soak all of that in so there are days when I'm like rushing that I don't really put on like primers or anything and since this is a uh, one brand makeup so sorry I don't have any primers from Colourpop I don't think they have any either so I'm just gonna go right ahead and start I'm gonna zoom you guys in Colourpop brow pencil literally what it's called and it's in the shade black and brown a helpful tip for those of you who have like trouble like um doing your eyebrow shape show eyebrow shape um there's they actually sell like these plastic things that have like shapes but if you don't want to do all that work you can literally just like go like this and you can see like up to where your eyebrow is supposed to like go so you know just go next to your nose and map it out that's literally like where your eyebrows supposed to end that way you don't you know go too far out and let's ignore this pimple that i have on literally on my eyebrow that thinks it can like you know just hide its way through life and be okay and it's not okay so yeah, it's next up. I'm going into the color rock concealer. The no filter concealer in the shade Golden 40. So I bought this one before they came out with the new one. They just came out with the new one. Um, so this is Golden 40 and the new shade I think is 34. So I'm gonna go in with this and I'm gonna go in with the brush. Oh, they actually have numbers, so it's E11. So this is the E11 brush, which I'm... All right. So moving on to eyes, I'm going to go with the concealer because I don't really have a primer. And Colourpop doesn't either, but I don't really prime my eyes. I usually just go in with the same concealer that I'm going to use. And then with my beauty blender. Yo, this beauty blender, I don't know what the hell I did to it, but... It smells like freaking Sasson. It smells like Maggie. Like, what is going on, Melissa? What did you do? I literally did nothing, though. Like, I took it out of the little, like, plastic thing it came in. And I literally just wet it. Like, I did not have such one in my hands. I did not have nothing. So, I don't know why it's smelling like Sasson out here. But, 
whatever. I'm not complaining. This time I'm gonna go in with the QAF palette. That's not really what it's called. It's called Yes Please, which is very confusing as to why they would put QAF in the front. But the name is Yes Please. I'm gonna go in. I forgot that the shades are in the back. Um. I'm gonna go in with the shade Full Zip, which is this one right here. I'm gonna go with the same flat brush and I'm just gonna just set it. I'm gonna first go into the shade Champs, which is this one. I'm hoping that I'm saying them correctly. Not saying them correctly, but like, because they're like in this order, so I'm gonna, I'm like reflecting that. Hopefully that's exactly how it is. And not, yeah, I think so, because this bling wouldn't be this one. So, yeah, okay. So, yeah, I'm going into Champs. So next up, I'm going to be going into Big Cocktails, which is this one right here, with the same brush. So next up, I'm going to be going into GNO, which is this orangey shade. going into spoiled which is this like plum shade right here Hold it on too tight. she said the haunted always dims too bright and fold it cut so fine and even so I'm gonna be taking the same concealer as before let me make sure I'm not running out of time on here yeah same concealer as before in the brush and I'm gonna be carving out the middle I did can let go and tell me what you waiting for what you waiting for tell me what you waiting for what I'm gonna be going into the shade I love the pigment where are my palette oh I love this shade like bitch the color is bling this one right here and then I'm probably gonna be going into the Louis? Yeah, this one. I'm probably gonna go into this one after, like on top of it. But yeah, first I'm going into bling. I'm gonna spray the 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 spray with it. So it could be a little more Pagmon's hard, you'll find my what you waiting for, tell me what you waiting for. What you waiting for? Tell me what you waiting for. This is how it looks after I like blended it and put in some of the spoiled again. And then I'm going to be going into the Louis, which is this one. It's more of a like orangey, while well, this one was more of the plummy. So I'm going to be going into that. I'm going to spray my brush again, the same brush that I used to apply the other plum color, this one, the flat brush. And I'm going to be going literally into the center and it the problem is it might blend into it but yeah I'm gonna be hitting right the center so it could pop a little um so I forgot to set my brows earlier so I'm gonna go in with the ColourPop brow boss gel it's supposed to be a clear gel even though it looks white um so yeah let me go into that Real quick. This is just to keep your brows in place. So that they don't move throughout the day. I'm gonna be going back into the concealer. And I'm gonna use it all over my face.
I'm going to be using it as foundation today, basically. Which is supposed to be my shade. So, we'll see how it goes. And like I said, I used it before. This is the one thing I tried out beforehand. So, it should be my shade. Like right now, I look crazy, I know. It's gonna bring back all the moisture. And once again, there goes the concealer. I don't really need it anymore, thank God. And then, patting it with. Alright, so I'm back next and I'm going to be going into the ColourPop bronzer. My fever, conformer, and I will never change. My fever, deformer. blush and I got the one that's birthday soup this is how it looks so that's that next going to highlight using the Bretman rock um brush that I love. And then the color pop highlighter, the Super Shock Cheek. It might be. It actually broke and I used the um trick where you use alcohol and you put it back together. That's what I did because it was broken. So basically yeah, I just going into it with the fan brush. So tell me what you're waiting for. What you waiting for? Tell me what you waiting for. What you waiting for? Tell me what you waiting for. What you waiting for? So now I'm gonna be going into back into the palette and I'm gonna do my under eye. So I'm gonna go into GNO, which is the burnt orange shade. And I'm gonna be putting that on my outer. On the under my lashes. I'm basically going to be make, making the top shades, but I'm not going to be putting all the transition shades. But that yellow is calling my name. My name. And then in with the plum, but only taking a little bit. Because it's really pigmented and I'm going to be putting it right under my tight line i mean right under my under eye i don't want to take it too far down because then i'm gonna be looking like a hot mess thinking my same flat brush from earlier i'm gonna be doing the shade louis only under right under Alright, so next up I'm going to be lining my lips with the color Bumble. I actually bought this one again by accident. I already had it and I noticed after. I had a feeling that I had it, but I was just too lazy to like double check. Tell me what you're waiting for. I will never change. My fever. Then I'm gonna go into fairy floss. Deformer. This is 
the final result. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did. Honestly, I love how it turned out. I hope everybody had a great Easter because by the time I post this, it's going to be tomorrow, which is Monday. Um. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and if you loved this look as much as I do, comment below. Let me know if you liked it, if you want to see any more one brand makeup tutorials like this. Um, and yeah, comment below anything you guys want me to know at all. And yeah, I hope you guys love this video. Love you guys. Bye.